Joining me at Moneypenny headquarters today is none other than Ed Mead of Yupa. Um, Ed, part of the ICG group, so you've been part of all this collaborative effort for the past couple of years. Um, what, what has it delivered for you? That's a very good question, and one we're all here to find out. Um, a large part of it, I think, is uh, working out what all the other people do. Um, so there are a lot of prop tech firms out there. Um, they've thinned out over the last four or five years, and the core that's left, it's quite important to understand what they do and how we can all help each other. Um, collaborating means, obviously, helping each other. That's the definition of the word. Yeah. So I can't really work out what I can do at Vuba with other people unless I know what they do. So a day like this does wonders for, for actually getting right inside some of these other businesses. And talking about what you do do at Vuba, for people that have been living under a rock, and I know the clue is in, in the title here, but what is it that Vuba do to help estate agents? Well, it's interesting you should say that, actually. I mean, the view bit of Vuba is, is mildly misleading, actually, insofar as the majority of our work is actually property checking and property inspecting. Um, but from a day-to-day um, -day perspective, what we do is... I'll tell you what the best way of thinking about it is. When you go and see a property with a Knight Frank or a Savills out of London, the chances are that it won't be a Savills or Knight Frank employee that shows you around. It'll be one of their local viewing representatives. Yes. Think of what we do as a sort of freelance version of that. So you can book it when you like. Um, we're approaching 300,000 of these things. That clearly works. Yeah. Um, and we've learned to represent estate agents' brands. Um, you know, we've learned what they need. We provide, for instance, Sprift reports to all our viewers. Sprift as a company people will be reading about or, or seeing on this. They provide property data. And our viewers are local. So the idea of thinking of us as well-informed freelance local viewing assistance is probably a pretty good way of thinking about what we do. Because it really represents the agent and, and an agent doesn't need to worry therefore about sort of outsourcing that because those those people are local, they're turning up with knowledge about the property, those spriff reports are, are great to be able to hand out to prospective buyers and, and, and renters. Um, so really you've, you've taken care of that personalization as well. Well, I think so. I wish a lot of the people watching this would, would agree, but it's definitely sure still will. a barrier. Estate agents have this, a lot of them are run by people like me, from, you know, middle-aged men, whatever, who are quite resistant to change. And, but they are changing. So from my perspective, the reputational image that we can portray has been proved by the longevity of what we've been doing at Viewer and the number of, number of appointments we're doing. You know, we're now up to 12,000 a month of these things. So it's really, it, it clearly works for a lot of people, and if you haven't tried it, I'd really urge people to go and try it, just to check it for themselves. It, it's a, f a fabulous service, and it, it really does sound like the feedback that you're getting is, is phenomenal as well. Um, you've got a lot of experience in, in the property industry, and we've talked about, we spoke last night about attitudes changing. But if I was starting out as an estate agent today, I was embarking on day one of my estate agency career, what advice would you be giving me? Well, I think that would slightly depend on your age, but assuming you're going to be quite young doing that. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit older than you, but neither of us are spring chickens. And uh, if you were starting out afresh, um, I would say apply some of the uh, skill sets you've learned in tech growing up for communicating, um, looking for information, um, services. You know, a lot of people, you know, my kids, for instance, they're 28 now, but they will still use Deliveroo, all the sort of things that we would never have thought about yeah. when we were, well, certainly when I was young. So I would say to someone if they're starting out, don't be afraid or use some of the skill sets you've acquired for communicating and, and for a better expression, outsourcing. I'm not sure I like that word, but nevertheless, outsourcing your, your, your service. It, it, be bold, you know, use some of this stuff. I mean, Peter Knight, who's here today, was standing on a stage not that long ago and said that, you know, it, by 2030, estate agents could only need one employee because yeah. actually you can get a lot further. outsource so much stuff, whether it's prospecting sure. or data or marketing or viewings or sales progression, whatever it is, you can, you can do all of those things with outsourcing. So I would say, if you're young, use the skill sets you've learned and apply them and try and look forward rather than back. Superb. Ed, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks, David. There we go.